Hey, what's going on? This is Chip. I'm going to show you about beat markers and how to add beat markers to a track. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to our menu and in iMovie 09 and make sure we have snap to beats on. So either a command U, same thing, just make sure snap to beats are on. All right. Second thing we're going to do, we're going to hit just a command one, bring up a song. And um, I just like this song by Beyonce. It's a good beat and it's easy to put it to the uh, to a marker so we're going to just drag it up here like that once we drag it up there we're going to go to clip trimmer and there we see it and then we see this little thing right here called a drag to add a beat marker so we can do this and we can drag it to add a beat marker if we want to right there we can drag to add one now um, and then to delete one um, we can remove all beat markers or just remove one of them with this little thing but I like I don't like doing it that way. I like doing it uh, by hitting a shortcut key called the M key. So um, once we hear the song, I know by looking at audio waveforms, there's no beats right there. So uh, let's just remove all beat markers. Right, I'm right clicking and remove all beat markers. And I'm going to start, start right here. And actually, let me just turn it up just a little bit so I can hear it. And I like going, oops, the other way. And I can, I like going to the beat. Here we go. Beat A. Uh oh, let me turn up one more time. Here we go. Ah, see, I missed it. Here we go. B day. Here's a beat. Okay, if I want to adjust one of them, I can go on forever. And I could just right click, I can remove that beat marker, or I could just click this one right here, and move it over. Okay, I'll move that over real quick. So you can put it right on the beat that you want. Or I'm just gonna remove that one. Remove that beat marker once I once my kerchief is over. So now that I had that, I'm gonna hit um, done. Okay. And it's gonna put it back up there with all my beat markers. Then I'm gonna hit command two and I'm gonna find some pictures. I'm in my aperture library. Okay, so I'm going to select the pictures, and I'm going to just select about 10 of them, and I'm just going to drag them right in the area where it says beat markers. It's going to add stills to the project, and um, from the beginning, you see right now, it's no music, so we, if we play it, let's see what happens. One. Beat A. So you see what happens. Now, I have some pictures and some stuff that uh, that are a little bit messed up, like you can't see this girl's head. You go right here, cropping in Kim Burns, and then we'll just hit the start up with the end down. And if I want to, and I'm sorry, and then we'll just hit that down. Actually, we'll just do it like this, and we'll move this up as well. So we don't cut it off, and we'll hit done here. Okay, and then same thing if I want to do edit Kim Burns here and make it, you know, come up or something like that. We'll do that. So here we go. Now you can also do this with video as well. Um, if I have, uh, let's look at my family video. Let's put uh, the girls in there real quick. Just a, a quick cut. And then we'll add them to the uh, fray right here. So, and then let's add uh, me right here with some video. Let's add me to the to the to the beat right quick so let's go see what happens see how it does a cut so if i add another cut right here it would do that right to the beat as long as i have as many beat markers selected it'll add so let's go see what happens okay so that's a tutorial of how to add beat markers thanks